Okay, you two friends, I got the uh, oscilloscope hooked up. This is after the uh, second IF uh, amplifier, and that's looking at about 470 kilohertz, about. And I tell you that because um, I got the um, signal generator here, and the calibration is way off on it, unfortunately. And this Heath kit here, it's. Um, I'm monitoring the frequency now. It's 460 kilohertz. Now I could check out the end frequency if I want to sweep it. And there is 480 kilohertz. And if you look on the scope, I'll do that on the scope when I change that. And this is the difference between 480 and 460 kilohertz on the uh, IF tube second IF that is coming off of that now the problem I got here is that when I start the sweep <clears throat> I get this and it's not really a double hump kind of thing that I was expecting to get hook it up here on the tripod so <clears throat> that's one problem I got the other problem I got is that one of my compensators is jammed. I can't move it. It's really frozen. And this is the, the section where it says adjust 52A and 52B. It's not an IF can, but it comes off the IF. And um, I'm not sure exactly what, what this can does. You know, it may go to the discriminator. I'm not sure. I didn't check that yet. But it says to adjust 52A and 52B. And when I adjust that, you get something like this. You do have two humps there. If you can see that, one there, and one there, one there, and one there. So I put them by equal. Now, interestingly, I'm going to set the signal generator just for one frequency, set it on 470. Let's see if there's any change when I adjust that. This is just a single frequency, not the sweep. And it's the same, it's the same position on, the, on this adjustment, 52A. So, I think what I gotta have to do is go through it and just adjust that 470 kilohertz. Unfortunately, I wanted to do the sweep thing, but it, it isn't coming out right. It's not coming up with a double hump like it's supposed to. So, I'm gonna inject it right into the, the mixer tube. able to reach there. Go right to the grid of the mixer. And replace the grid cap on the, uh, on the IF tube. I could try sweeping this. Let's see. I'm going to sweep this. First I have to get it. There it is. Let's see if I can sweep it. Yeah, see it gets all messed up when I try to sweep it across 460 and 480 kilohertz. Let's see what happens if I make adjustment on there on one of these IF cans. See, one of those is changing. I think I'm just going to adjust it just with a 470 kilohertz right into it. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just make a single frequency at 470 kilohertz. And I know my Heath kit uh, frequency counter is good because I calibrate it with the scope and 
It was just a couple hertz off from looking at the scope and looking at the frequency counter. So I've got it right on 470 kilohertz. I'm just going to adjust it through at that. And uh, I'm not going to get any double hump on here. It's really not what I want, but the other thing is not working. Okay, I got the second can here. Oh, see? Let's try this one here. Let me try the double hump, the double, the sweep. So that's what it looks like when it's sweeping. And that's sweeping from 465. Yeah. Okay, let's do 465 to 480. Get like harmonics on there and stuff. really not getting what I what I want to look at. So I'm just gonna peak him at 470. I'm gonna try it again. I'm really disappointed that I can't get the double peak. This is just peaking at 470 kilo cycles. Okay, that's the IF, 470 kilocycles. <clears throat> I wish I could get the thing working, but I'm not getting that, that double hump that I really expected to get. Now, I do have a little hump here on the bottom. Four sixty, that's four sixty kilohertz. Wait one second. Okay. I'm gonna try it again. Okay. I'm gonna sweep it. I'm sweeping it from four sixty to four eighty kilohertz. Let's see what these adjustments do again. But even so you got a wave on the bottom there. I'm, I am using the 0.1 microfarad capacitor on the scope probe and also on the uh, single generator lead that goes into the grid. And let's just don't see how you can get a double hump, not unless you really severely detune it. See, then you can get the humps to match. I'm still not getting like a double hump, am I? You know, it really brought down the amplitude. See? I think more amplitude is, is better. 
That's what I'm thinking. So I'm adjusting it for more amplitude. And I don't think this is right. So that's about, that's about it there. That's about it. So that's what the double thing. I'm going to put a single frequency back in on there. I'm going to put just 470 kilohertz in again. funny how it, there it is, <clears throat> let's see what happens if I adjust that, it's just a single frequency, I'm going to adjust the eye of cans again, it's, it's different, it looks a little different don't it, see that, it's a different P, A lot different. Just peaking right at 470. That went off the scale, didn't it? So kind of it at the single frequency that is it's not what I want though is it so that's where I am that's that's what I'm debating here this is what the sweep is looking like it's not it's not the right kind of sweep that I should look at so I'm gonna keep experimenting with this and see what I could do. Take it easy, folks. Have a great day. Bye.